thing is, I, I, I got to I got to learn a lot about marriage. <laughs> um, one of the things that 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 that, that kind of came in, in conjunction with, with with really understanding marriage and what marriage is about is I was studying um, art and I was studying um, the Asian art. And there was always these pictures of a phoenix and a dragon together. And I was like, what's the story behind this? There's got to be a story here because you see them everywhere. They mean something. So I thought, well, who can I ask? I have a Buddhist brother. So I went to my Buddhist brother, Brother Pavana, and I said, Brother Pavana, do you know the story? of the dragon and the phoenix. Oh, oh, grasshopper, you wish to know a great mythology. Let's go on, grasshopper. <laughs> All right, so he told me, he said, so the way it works is that the phoenix comes to the land of China and she sings this beautiful, heraldic war song of change that is going to come to the land. And then she blows up and in and, and this huge ball of fire and leaves all in darkness. And then the wind rises coming on the wind, riding the wind, is the dragon, ever looking for the phoenix. He will always follow her. And on his back, he bears the change to China, which will be in the form of the new emperor to, to lead the land. And I was like, ah, so the dragon is tied to the emperor. And he goes, oh, oh, you are wise, grasshopper. And I said, so the phoenix is the empress? He goes, ah, oh, nirvana. <laughs> I said, okay, all right, so you've got the emperor and the empress, they're here together, dragon and the phoenix, but you know, when I look at these pictures, there's flame, there's smoke, there's fire, there's all sorts of chaos going on around it. What part of the story is that? He looks at me and says, are you not a married man? <laughs> Do you not understand the concept of uh, marital, marital bliss and mortal combat being one? <laughs> Then all of a sudden I did understand everything. <laughs> and, thus, and thus this song was born. From the dragon's point of view, of course. I'm kind of biased that way. You watched a fire. Listen to her haunted song of true desire. Now the empress is gone, a hopeless heart is more than you can take. While something dark is rising up from out the lake. You can't run for the caves or the hill. The balance of nature's coming still. Where the phoenix once burned, the dragon has returned, bringing strength. Power to fulfill the word and will. He rules the water from rain and stream to storm and sea, a pearl of thunder. He carries in his company, his breath is raindrops, a fire falling from the sky, across the hilltops, on winds of change you watch him fly. You can run for the caves or the hill, balance of nature's going still. Well, the phoenix once burned, the dragon has returned, bringing strength and power to fulfill the word and will. Bright. The flame he walks through turns to sea fire in the night. They call him Ryu. She sings to him a battle cry. He roars, I love you. They fight in joy and never die. They are the yin and yang, bound by their wedded bliss. Without their fighting dance, 
This world would not exist without conflicting change. Life's value then would cease, but balance kept in range can bring us all in a Strength and power to fulfill. Yeah, you gotta run for all the cares of hell. Balance of powers going still. When are the empress once burned? The emperor has returned. Bringing strength and magic to fulfill.